Have you ever heard of or considered that the packaging shape of the containers could affect the physico-chemical and microbiological characteristics of biological materials and water solutions? Well, according to the recent published peer-reviewed journal articles, the geometrical structures were shown to induce biological effects in stored biological materials, and many studies have been conducted to investigate these effects. Although there are many published research articles, the energy source, the mechanism of energy generation, and the mechanism of inducing these effects have not been explained to practically any degree in any of these articles. According to our recent studies on the effects of electromagnetic fields and packaging shape on the physico-chemical and microbiological characteristics of water solutions, the energy source was found to be the environmentally abundant electromagnetic fields. Here's a brief explanation of the methodology of our research. Two groups of containers with the same volume made of dielectric material each consists of four pyramidal, rectangular, square, and cylindrical containers were manufactured using an advanced laser cutting technique. The containers were filled to 100% capacity with H2O NaCl solution. Then, the containers were exposed to electromagnetic fields or EMFs by applying three exposure scenarios during the study period. The exposure to environmentally abundant EMFs in the storage room. The exposure to EMF at 2.45 GHz inside the EMF shielded chamber. Sham exposure, which was done by storing the containers in an EMF shielded chamber in the absence of the EMF. The first and second exposure scenarios were done as follows. Firstly, the four containers were exposed to 2.45 GHz electromagnetic waves emitted from a 1 watt dipole antenna placed inside an EMF shielded chamber and then the experiment was replicated in the absence of the electromagnetic waves, which is known as sham exposure. In the third exposure scenario, an EMF portable measurement system that included a spectrum analyzer equipped with isotropic sensor was used to measure the surrounding electromagnetic fields in the storage room during the study period. This brings me to my next point. There are many sources of electromagnetic radiation. For example, radio and television broadcasting stations, mobile phone, wireless laptop card, radio and TV broadcasting stations, and cell phone towers. This is important to remember because in order to explain the effect of electromagnetic fields on oxygen-17 NMR spectra of H2O NaCl during the study period, Faraday shield was used to shield one group of containers. When the unshielded containers are exposed to electromagnetic waves, electric and magnetic fields are induced in the H2O NaCl solution, which can be simulated by applying the finite difference time domain or FDTD method to solve Maxwell's equations for given boundary conditions. According to the electromagnetic simulation results, there were variations in the maximum electric field and maximum point of specific absorption rate SAR of energy induced in H2O NaCl stored in the four unshielded container models. The values of the maximum electric field induced in H2O NaCl solution depends on many factors, such as the dimensions, material, and thickness of the containers, the polarization, irradiation geometry, and frequency of electromagnetic waves, the properties of the stored H2O NaCl solution. This is why variations were observed in the cluster size of water molecules of H2O NaCl stored in the four containers during a study of the effects of electromagnetic fields and packaging shape on oxygen-17 NMR spectra of H2O NaCl solution during storage. By comparing the results of the electromagnetic simulation in the oxygen-17 NMR spectra of H2O NaCl, it was found that the decrease in the cluster size of water molecules is inversely proportional to the increase in the maximum values of electric field induced in the H2O NaCl solution. In addition to the maximum point SAR values induced in H2O NaCl solution stored in the four containers, were in the range of the SAR values reported in the 2012 Bioinitiative Report, which caused notable biological effects. 
Although the value of the maximum electric field induced in the H2O NaCl solution stored in the pyramidal container model was higher than that of the other containers, it's possible to use electromagnetic simulation software packages to design containers capable of inducing values of maximum electric field in the stored H2O NaCl higher than that of the pyramidal container. Mechanisms of Interaction It is well known that water molecule is a dipole molecule because of the difference in the electronegativity between hydrogen and oxygen atoms. The two hydrogen atoms represent the positive pole and the oxygen atom represents the negative pole. There are two well-known mechanisms related to the interaction between radio frequency microwaves and water solutions, dipole rotation and ionic conduction. The dipole rotation mechanism explains the alignment of the dipole molecules of water with the high-frequency oscillations of the electric field component of the electromagnetic waves at microwave frequencies. A recent study confirmed the non-thermal effects of the electromagnetic waves. The study showed that electromagnetic waves at 450 MHz affected the hydrogen bonding between water molecules in H2O NaCl and caused faster diffusion by affecting the viscosity of the water solution. Another study showed that the electrical conductivity of H2O NaCl solutions was changed using electromagnetic waves at 2450 MHz. The ionic conduction mechanism explains the movement of the charged particles dissolved in the water to the oppositely charged plate through an ionic conduction mechanism. The capability of EM waves to affect the hydrogen bonding network between water molecules and the mobility of dissolved charged particles as explained in the dipole rotation and ionic conduction mechanisms has been proven by the variations in the results of oxygen-17 NMR spectra of H2O NaCl solution stored in the four containers. This could be the reason for the variations in the cluster size of water molecules. There is another hypothesized mechanism, which is the role that sharp edges of the containers play in the concentration and distribution of electromagnetic energy in the areas of the H2O NaCl solution located near the sharp edges of the four containers. The sharp edges of water solution are not only formed due to the sharp edges of the packaging shape of the containers, but it is also related the interaction between electromagnetic waves and water solution interface. For example, a 3D model of H2O NaCl plastic bottle made of PET exposed to 1 volts per meter plane waves at 2.4 GHz. The effect of the sharp edges of the H2O NaCl solution on electromagnetic energy distribution is shown to be related to the geometrical shape of water solutions stored in the bottle and its interactions with the electromagnetic waves. This means the effect of the sharp edges is directly related to the interaction between the electromagnetic waves and the interface of water solutions. This is why it is very difficult to neglect the effect of sharp edges by manufacturing containers with rounded edges because the geometrical shape of water solutions stored inside the containers with rounded edges will form a sharp edge between electromagnetic waves and water solution interface as shown in the picture. The concentration of electromagnetic energy at points near the sharp edges with values higher than the values of bond dissociation energy could increase the probability of breaking the hydrogen bonds between water molecules. In the liquid state of materials, such as water-based food products and pharmaceuticals, the effect of these sharp edges will not be limited to specific areas at the edges of materials. It will extend to other areas because of the Brownian motion of liquid molecules and particles. The Significance In summary, the significance of this study is based on two main factors. First, it will foster the development of innovative packaging techniques by further our understanding of the roles that sharp edges and dimensions of materials play in the concentration and distribution of electromagnetic fields and their relationship to the non-thermal effects of electromagnetic fields. Secondly, the relationship between the sharp edges and dimensions of packaging materials and the distribution of electric and magnetic fields and the resulting SAR in stored materials 
will provide the groundwork for researcher study and evaluate the effect of packaging shapes with sharp edges and low-intensity electromagnetic radiation on water-based food products, nutrition materials, pharmaceuticals, and other biological materials. This, in turn, will significantly help in the acquisition of parameters for the storage and packaging process optimization. We'll provide another option for the increased safety and quality of water-based solutions during storage. The outcome of this study and the future studies can be categorized into two main categories. One, development of storage guidelines for water solutions. Two, development of containers. The outcome of a study can be categorized under storage guidelines. If the electromagnetic energy induced in water solutions encourages harmful chemical reactions or increases the growth of microorganisms. In this case, guidelines must be developed. For example, guidelines to store these water solutions in an EMF shielded chamber. The outcome of this study can be categorized under development of containers. If the packaging shape and dimensions of the containers are capable of inducing high values of electromagnetic energy in the stored water solutions to increase the mobility of dissolved charged particles to prevent aggregation or to prohibit the growth of microorganisms during storage.